July 18th, about 12 p.m. We are actually headed to the community that we're moving to. It's called Quail Creek. When we bought our piece of property, they gave us a coupon for a free meal. So we're going to go check out the grill there, have some lunch, and then they have officially put a sold sign on our lot. So we're going to go get some video. I'll show you guys the lot before anything is built on it. And we're just gonna go check it out, get some pictures, get ready to start the design process here in a couple of weeks. We meet with the design team. It's four full days of choosing everything for the house. So I'll try to video that as well but we're headed to lunch and to check out the sold sign on the property are you excited yep yes we're very excited so this is our sold sign and this is our lot we love it we have a view of the mountains this is the most beautiful part of green valley so our house will be built on this lot here and then this lot over here is already sold and this lot over here is already sold so this is our property. The back of our house will be right there. So we'll have the mountain view out the back. So here's a little sneak peek at the area that we live in. So there's lots of new houses being built actually across the street. They haven't even started building houses yet, but it is just a really, really beautiful area. And it's tip mainly a 55 and older community, which is perfect for us. We're super excited. So we're at the restaurant in our community and we actually just got our food. So I did a turkey burger. It's a California turkey burger with chips. And apparently I get a cookie and then Troy got fish and chips. So today is Saturday, July 20th. And we are actually on our way to Tucson. Troy's actually in the gas station getting a pop, but we're on our way to Tucson to go to a lighting company. So as part of a new build, at least in the area that we're moving to, in order for the contractor who builds your home to put your light fixtures in, they have to be purchased from their supplier so apparently they partner with this company in tucson it's more of a luxury lighting place so we'll see we definitely aren't going to spend thousands of dollars on lighting so we're going to have to see what they have available but if we purchase from this particular place the contractor when they build our house will put the lights up for us otherwise they'll put caps and then we have to hire someone or do it ourselves we're going to weigh it out and see if we went to home depot and bought this light fixture and then paid someone to put it in because i don't think troy would do electrical it's pretty touchy not to mention up and down a ladder is really impossible for him it kills his legs we have to weigh it out and go is it better to buy the light fixture at home depot and pay someone to put it in or should we spend a little extra and have it put in as part of our bill so that's what we're doing today is essentially picking out the light fixtures for our home it's really exciting it's truly getting real now we actually just got the official official prequal which means our income everything has went through underwriting already so a pre-approval is where they just scan it over and go yeah you're good to go you can buy a house here's how much you can buy pre-qualification which is what we went through is basically completely through underwriting so it makes it a lot more solid that you're good to go so we are officially official as of yesterday's so that's really exciting I I even reached out to our realtor that we're going to be using to list our home, our current home. She's the realtor we bought our house from. I reached out to her. She's going to start doing her research for us. It'll be quite a while before we actually put our house on the market. We need to go through design, but I at least wanted to let her know that that's the road that we're taking. So the next step for us after lighting today is we go this next week when I get home from my 30 year high school reunion, we go to take a tour of the facilities of the development we're moving to. And then from there, the following week, we go to design where we actually pick out everything for our house outside of lighting that's done separate so we also are stopping to get rid of our cardboard so that's what we're doing what today. are we doing <laughs> <laughs> well, troy's very confused on what's happening no we're gonna go i was telling them we're picking out our lighting today so i'll see if i can get some video while we're there but that's where we're headed but we just got to the lighting place are you taking your pop in and here we are so this will be fun to kind of look through everything So we've picked out all of our lighting. Everything's getting put together right now. Pictures will be printed out so that we can take it to design. It's expensive, but everything is going to be so perfect. So it's Monday, July 22nd, and we are at 
lows. We are coming here to look at light fixtures. I mentioned to you guys that we decided not to buy our light fixtures from the light fixture place that we went to. It was just really expensive and then their install was really expensive. We actually found the light fixtures that we wanted online through the company directly for a lot less expensive. We bought the two pendant lights for the kitchen and the drop down chandelier light for above the table. And so now we're looking at ceiling fans and bathroom light fixtures as well, just because it was so expensive at that store. We thought we would just check here first. We looked online and it was about half the price. The light fixture is about half the price of what we would have paid at that other store. So that's what we're doing today, just to see what we can find. We're also gonna look at appliances because the refrigerator, refrigerators through the build are really expensive. And I think we can get it for one, two, even $3,000 less if we buy it ourselves, and then they deliver it and install it anyways. And then we're gonna look at flooring just so we have an idea of how much flooring would be outside of the build, but we'll probably end up doing it with the build since it's construction. But that's basically what we're here for today. We just wanted to take a couple hours and look around. So Troy and I are running to Lowe's to look for something for our new house. And I stopped and got a Frosty. This is the little mini of their special Frosty for summer, Triple Berry. It's really good. I'm getting full. I probably won't eat the whole thing, but it's really good. Troy got a couple chicken sandwiches from Arby's. We're at Lowe's and we're just gonna look at appliances check price of flooring, but we're mainly here for light fixtures. So we really like that one right there, maybe for the living room. Actually, this whole modern farmhouse vibe is kind of what we're going for. And I'll tell you that these fans, like that one right there, we really like, that one's $200 here. And at that other store, they were five to 700, even more. There were some that were like a thousand dollars. So I'm really glad we made the choice to come here and check it out. We're not gonna buy anything right now, only because we wanna get through design, figure out all of our finishes first, and then we'll come back. And this is funny. So these light fixtures that are wood or like rattan, these were absurdly expensive. There was actually one kind of like this one right here, and it was like a thousand dollars. It's $179. So it's just so crazy to me how expensive that place was. Even just these drop down light fixtures, everything. They had something similar to this like wavy and it was $1,500, that one's $199. So note to self, if you're building a new house or remodeling, if you can get away from builder, get away from builder. We also like this lamp right here. We kind of have our eye on that. And we really, really like this because we want our house to be a lot of light wood. So we like this because it's kind of the aesthetic that we're going for in our house. So we're thinking maybe in the living room, but again, we don't want to purchase anything until we know exactly what our finishes are going to be. But like I said, we're going with modern farmhouse, all light wood, very neutral colors like whites and creams. And then what we want to do is pop in some green and the model home had cactus artwork and we really loved all the cactus artwork. So that's what we're thinking to like pop in a little bit of color is some cactus artwork and paintings and things on the wall. I'm really excited for the decorating part, but I've already added like 250 things to my Amazon cart and then save them for later. So yeah, we didn't buy anything. We're just looking around today, kind of seeing what our options are. Hello, it is August 2nd and we have an exciting day when it comes to our house today. So we are actually headed to Quail Creek, our community, for an all day experience. We actually have a tour this morning with Frank Francisco, our salesperson, and then he's going to take us to all the amenities, show us all of the different things that are part of our community, things that we can do. We actually have full access to a villa, which is basically kind of a town home there. They share a wall and it's part of the community and people who come in from out of town, if they're interested in potentially moving to Quail Creek or like us have already purchased property, you can actually stay there for one to three nights, get a full round of golf, a dinner, a complete tour, like I said, of the property, and you get to stay in one of these beautiful villas. So since we only live eight miles away from where we're moving. We're not spending the night in the villa, but they did give us full access to it. There's bikes, there's a golf cart. We're gonna take advantage of the golf cart today to kind of tool around. We wanna walk through all the different model homes. We wanna check up on our property, check up on the houses being built in the area. So it's a fun and exciting day. We actually checked in yesterday and picked up 
this little bag of goodies. So what is in here is our pass to get into the community. They're actually treating us to a dinner at the grill. We don't have to pay for that. They're buying us whatever we would like for dinner. We had a couple of cute little Quail Creek hats in here. There's a map and just some other information for us for our little tour today. I'm hoping to get to introduce you to Frank today if he's is if he's up for it. And if he wants to be in the video, I'm hoping to introduce you to him. And I'm just excited to spend the whole day exploring our community. I really wanna find out where the gym is in relation to our house. Am I able to walk there? I've never even been in any of the amenities. So I'm gonna take you guys with me today. We're super, super excited. We may eat at one of the other restaurants on site for lunch since we don't actually get to use the dinner voucher dinner meal until tonight. So I'm going to gather some things together. I think I'm going to throw some snacks in our little bag and take those with us and let's head out for the day of our new community. So we're in the Dunkin' drive through getting coffee. We're going to grab gas, get try a pop, and then we're going to drop off our cardboard at the dump and we're headed to Quail Creek for the day. Like I said, they're giving us a tour. We have full access to a golf cart. So we're going to drive around, have lunch, have dinner, and then we actually start designing our house on Monday. So it's crazy, just a couple of days away, so. And we get free dinner at six. Yeah, free dinner. They're giving us a dinner at the grill, which is actually really, really good. And I don't yep. think we have a cap on it like we did last time, so we're gonna live it up. And it's seafood night tonight. So I, like I said, I'll see if I can get Frank to talk with you guys quickly on the video, but I'm going to show you everything as we go throughout our day today. So this is the model village. So all the model homes are behind that gate right there. That's where we got confused last time. And then this is the building that basically you go to for design, which will be back here on Monday. And it also is the building that is the office. So, so pretty with the palm trees. And actually it overlooks, the window back there overlooks the golf course. So I know a lot of you are gonna ask, this is Frank, he is our salesperson. You wanna introduce yourself? Yes. My name is Francisco Zapata. I'm a new home sales consultant here in Quail Creek. So if anybody wants to follow Jen, give me a call. Yay. We'll take care of you. You're yes. going to love it here. He's amazing. So Thank reach you. out to me too if you have any questions. I'm happy to give you his information. What up to? Good. We've been busy. All right. But good. Yeah. We're very excited. We're good, ready. Good. So this is our current amenities center. Part of our little stay is this house. I'll show you guys the house when we come back, but we get the use of a golf cart and then there's some bikes in here if we wanted to bike around the community. But Troy and I are actually gonna take the golf cart out. We're gonna drive to our property. So we'll show you the property, kind of the house is being built around there. And then we're gonna head home for a little bit before dinner just to check on the dog. All right, and we're off in the golf cart, maybe. I can't see. We're having a little bit of technical difficulties here. It's an electric, it's plugged into the wall right there, but can you not get it started? We'll use the reverse right here. Reverse right here. <gasps> oh Lord, that was reverse. Oh, <laughs> different spot, okay. Say hi, honey. Hi. Yay, oh. well, it's real loud. All right, we're off. We're really highly considering a golf cart when we move here, so we can go tool around instead of having to drive. I told Troy I could take the golf cart to the gym. This is a fast golf cart. We smoked. We're used to the ones at the golf course that go so slow. Yeah, they have livers. Yeah, this one is so fast. Yeah. Very cool. It's back that way, right? Pedal to the metal. It's just some video as we drive along. I don't 
Here's the golf course right here, a part of it anyways, not too far range. from our house. Driving range, yeah. So now we're driving into where we live. So this is the road off the main road. You can see the mountains. That's how you know that we're getting close to where our property is. None of this is developed yet, but it's all going to eventually be developed. And they will also have a beautiful view. Actually, everything on this side. Oh, golf course. Too. Yeah, on oh, this, yeah, they're on the golf course and a view. So it's going to be some pricey property. So this is our actual neighborhood. Not the street we live on, but our actual neighborhood. These are all brand new houses. So all of these have been built, I would say, within maybe the last few months. And they actually go up pretty quick. Really pretty houses. That's the big floor plan right there. That's it too. Oh. I'll show you guys our house, uh, or our floor plan, I should say. There's a couple of them on our street. So this is our floor plan here. We'll pull you guys up to the other one. But all of the lots, every single lot on this street is sold. We bought the last available lot. So this is the big floor plan, right? That's the Avalon, the big floor plan, the 2,600 square feet. Yeah. Yeah. So this house right next to it that doesn't have, that isn't finished yet, is our floor plan. So this one right here. So this is our floor plan. So they're in the process of putting up all the stone, but that's basically what our house will look like. All right, this is it. So this is exactly our property with the sold sign the most amazing view out of our backyard also over there where you see green and red those will be houses but there's a big wash in between and this lot here is sold and actually that house that's framed that thing went up in like less than a week from foundation to that it was pretty crazy so yeah all of these lots are sold this is the only neighbor and this house was just built well they just moved in maybe a month or two ago because they just landscaped so yeah it's where we're gonna be living so we're going to dinner. This is our complimentary dinner as part of our stay. We did go home for about an hour to see the dogs. We felt bad leaving them all day. They were not happy when we left. So I'll show you what we do for dinner. Part of our little tour package is we get two appetizers, two entrees, and two desserts, which clearly we're not eating all of that, but, oh, and two glasses of wine. So Tori has my wine since I don't drink alcohol, but we got bacon wrapped shrimp with some rice, I think. And then this looks amazing. This is like a strawberry brie crostini. Mr. Clayton ordered the most expensive thing on the menu. <laughs> he did. He actually got a big steak with potatoes and veggies. It actually looks really good. And some kind of onion on top and then chimichurri. Chimichurri. Hey, it was free, man. I'm yeah, it was free. <laughs> and then I went simple with a sandwich and some french fries. We just finished dinner and we literally have three more meals between this three course meal that we had. We didn't touch the dessert. With we, our car, we had two appetizers. <laughs> Yeah. And then we had two full meals and, and then two we had desserts. Two desserts and then had two glasses of wine. wine. And <laughs> yeah, we didn't even I ate like this much of my sandwich. That was it. Didn't touch the dessert. So we've got all that food back there. So we'll have lots of leftovers. That's really good though. It's really, really good. We had great service. So now we're gonna head back to the villa, drop off the golf cart, go drop the keys off, and go home because it just started raining <laughs> and we don't want to leave our dogs for any longer. It is Saturday, August. Third, and Troy and I are actually headed back to Quail Creek. We are headed into the design center a little bit this morning. We spoke with Katie, who's our design coordinator. I'm hoping to put her on video if she's okay with it on Monday, but she wanted us to go in and start looking through some of the things that we were potentially interested in design-wise. We'll probably go back through the model home, again, just to make sure that we kind of have everything in order, and then we actually start the full design process on Monday. So this is kind of just a prelim Preliminary, preliminary design visit. We're gonna stop and I'm gonna grab a coffee at Starbucks. Troy's gonna grab a pop at the gas station. And we're excited. We're really excited to finally get to the design center. So this is the coffee that I got. I've never tried this before, but this is really good. I had to show you guys. So I did a, a venti quad espresso with sugar-free vanilla, four pumps of sugar-free vanilla, and one and a half inches of the vanilla sweet cream cold foam. It's only like 20 or 30 calories for the cold foam. This is so good. It's so decadent and creamy and just really rich vanilla. So really great option for a low calorie coffee. Here's what we kind of picked out. 
We still aren't sure what we're doing with cabinets. We might be changing our mind, but here's kind of the colors that we chose. We'll just have to see what happens on Monday. So we are on our way to the design center. We've got about 15 minutes. I just dropped Troy off at the gas station to get a pop and I went to Starbucks. So recommend, highly, highly recommend next time you visit Starbucks. I got my coffee and Troy got his diet Coke. Five hours later. So we're narrowing things down here. We are between these two cabinets. We're gonna do this on the island, this on the rest of the kitchen counters. This we're obsessed with. We wanna do the floor in the powder room. And then this is the flooring that we're thinking about. So it's just picking the cabinets. I'm Katie Thompson and I've been the design consultant working with Jen and Todd. And it's been a wonderful time Troy. here. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now you're not number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. I'm literally dead. Oh no, sorry, Troy. Yeah, sorry, Troy. Okay, Troy. Jen oh, and sorry. Troy. See what you did. Yeah, see what, you made her nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Jen and Troy, thank you for being here. Thank you. 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 Th
on the other side of us. And they're like, oh yeah, Sue and Steve, I think were their names. And I was like, how the heck do they know them? How would they know them? Because they don't live there. Their lot is still empty. And the only way we knew about them is because the neighbor on the corner told us about them and that they lived in Wisconsin and they were trying to sell their house in Wisconsin before they moved up to Arizona. So they did like a year delay on their lot. You can buy the lot and Put a delay for a year of building your house we'll come to find out the other couple at the design center is our other neighbor so those are the people from wisconsin so everybody in the design center with us we're all neighbors so it was really good to get to meet them so nice they're all so nice we already talked about sharing the cost of the fence that we're going to put up between the properties but yeah it was so weird and actually katie who's our design helper she said that's never happened before where there's been a bunch of neighbors in the design center at the same time so i told troy we're lucky that we have nice neighbors and they're not we're not going to end up on that murder show where the neighbors murder each other <laughs> yeah yeah so i said we won't end up on that because we have nice neighbors so it's just really really funny just random that everybody was there at design because they had bought their lots long before we did and you don't really know where people are in the process of you know the lot versus building their house so it's just really funny they're really nice so we'll see them again today so we're gonna get a coffee and a pop and head on over so here's the coffee that I did today I actually did a protein coffee and put in the premier protein shake all right so here's the final the final everything so this is our master shower so the tile on the wall tile and grout on the floor and then we're doing a 12 inch band on the walls with this grout. We're doing this granite in the spare bathroom and the laundry room. And then we are doing this quartz in the kitchen and our master bath with this Blanco sink. Final cabinets, we, Troy picked these out. He did so good with that. Final floor, we knew pretty much right away we were going with that floor. Paint color for all of the walls and molding. This is going to be the floor in our powder room with this, uh, What's the word? Grout. Grout, thank you. Backsplash in the kitchen. This was this was a hefty, hefty upgrade because it's just a little fancier, but we really, really like it. It pairs really nice with everything. We did upgrade our molding to the five and a quarter. And then the outside of our house, it is this brick, this stone, and this is the outside paint of the house. So the house itself, the front door, the trim, the garage doors, and then you had a choice of two stone. We picked this one, and then it comes with these bricks as like an accent on the outside of the house. We did add a cubby to our shower and quite a few other upgrades, like some toilets and faucets and things like that. But this is the the gist. This is the color scheme and the aesthetic. It is Wednesday, August, I almost said July, August 7th. We're at the gas station per usual getting Troy a pop. I actually made a coffee at home. I used my drag up cold brew and my oat milk brown sugar creamer from Trader Joe's. So today is our third day in the design center. So technically we get four days. I'm not sure that we'll need tomorrow. We'll kind of have to see how today goes, but today our focus is window covering. So we're meeting with the window covering person who will explain to us cost what they recommend for window coverings. And then apparently we're supposed to meet whoever is the super intendant on our job site. I'm hoping also maybe to meet the project manager. He's the person who can tell us when they're actually going to start building our house. So I'm very curious about that. We're really hoping fingers crossed for January. I think it's kind of pushing it. We just don't want to have to list our house for sale in December. It's just not a good time to sell a house. So it's really truly just going to depend on how everything plays out. We've finalized all of the interior, everything, all of those upgrades. We are going to go measure. We, took, we did bring our tape measure. We want to walk over and measure mirrors. We are not going with the mirrors, the standard mirrors that are glued to the wall, just the regular mirror. We're not doing that. We're actually going to buy our own framed mirror. So we wanted to measure that. We're also buying our own light fixtures because they're ridiculously expensive, like I mentioned. And we're also buying our own towel bar, toilet paper holder. Because get this, if you buy, this is so insane. Their prices are so weird. Some things so reasonable, other things outrageous. So if you get a toilet paper holder, a towel hook, so just one little hook, and then the ring to hang the towel, it's $1,400. 
Are you freaking kidding me right now? So we decided to go with the chrome that's standard with the house, which we don't want. And then at least that way the holes will be drilled and they'll put them in. And then we're going to swap them out for brushed nickel down the road. So it's funny how some things cost a lot and some things are more reasonable. So I'm not sure exactly what today will look like, but our goal is window coverings and superintendent. I wanted to show you guys the shower. This isn't the exact shower that we have. This is a different floor plan, but this is one of the major upgrades we chose. It usually has a tub right there and then a smaller shower and it's not a zero walk-in. It actually has a little lip. So we upgraded to this one. Some very similar to this actually, because we didn't really want a tub, it's a dust collector, and we wanted the zero walk-in floor of the shower. So we, this was an upgrade we weren't planning on that we ended up doing, and we're kind of really happy that we did. And then it looks really nice with the high, <laughs> really nice with the vanity. And again, this is a different floor plan. Uh, our particular model doesn't have a shower. Hey, you cozy? Troy's already testing out the bench in the shower. Yeah, the, we, I do like that there is a bench in the shower, so. Shave, shave my legs. Yeah, so he can shave his leg, mm, okay. <laughs> no, but it's really nice. It was definitely worth the upgrade. Today is Friday, August 9th. Today will be the last day that I'm filming as part of this pre-build video. I have lots of content with our house coming your way, but we're actually heading into the design center for our final day. We're meeting the electrical people at the model home so they can explain to us what comes standard, what upgrades we have when it comes to electrical. And then the exciting part is we're actually going to sign the upgrades, like finalize all of the paperwork for that after we meet with the design center. We have some measuring we wanna do and things in the model home. And then we basically break ground. That's the next step after we finish design. Okay. And then we have um, the laundry and east secondary bath, the east edge. Okay. I kinda like that for the, the flat edge for some of it too. Mm -hmm rather than the beveled. Write your name big enough? Jeez. <laughs> I require a lot of space for my signature. <laughs> <laughs> That is the first stages of building a new home. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. My plan is the next video will be the building process. So that's going to take several months. I'm going to show you everything from literally breaking ground through the entire build process. That will be at least one, possibly two videos. We'll see if I end up breaking it up maybe into two videos so that it's not six months between videos. And then of course, a move-in vlog. We'll do lots of shopping vlogs, design, decorating vlogs. There is a lot of new build, new home content coming your way. I will tell you that overall so far, we've had a very, very good experience. Katie, our design center help Katie in the design center was fantastic. She's literally one of the nicest people I've ever met. And I've watched a few videos on new construction and going through design. And a lot of people get like a three, four, five hour session. In fact, my in-laws had four hours to choose everything for their new home. And she, my mother-in-law said that a lot of this stuff wasn't even in person, it was by a picture. So I feel very blessed that Quail Creek actually allows us up to four full days from design. Now, of course we said, like I said, we used three full days of design and I feel very confident in everything that we chose. We were able to add things, remove things. She even walked us through some of the same floor plan that we have currently being built so we can see what finishes look like in person. And that actually prompted the tile change in our shower from the gray small subway looking tile to the lighter gray and white tile. So it was really good to see things in real life and in person and things in our actual floor plan so we can see what that looks like. Also, walking through our floor plan prompted us to add the huge walk-in shower versus what comes with the home, which is the tub and shower combo. I will also say that if you're building a new home, whatever you see in the model home is going to be very, very, very upgraded. So $100,000, $200,000 worth of upgrades. They're, the model homes are not just the base home. So when you're told the base price of the home, just plan on 10 to 15% of that base price in upgrades. We actually did almost 20% of our base price in upgrades. So 
don't, so when you're given the base price of a new build, that is with no upgrades. That's the standard home with the standard builder grade finishes. Now, one of the other couples, one of our neighbors, they didn't do a lot of upgrades. They did some bump outs and structural upgrades, which is really pricey, like adding feet to the garage or the master bedroom. But as far as finishes go, they stuck with a lot of what's included builder grade finishes. Now, our other neighbor, the other couple, they actually ended up switching lots. So they're no longer our direct neighbor. Neighbor. They're actually just up the road from us, but they did about half of the upgrades that we did. So it's really just based on personal preference. For us, this is the home we have worked for our entire life. So we didn't want just builder grade finishes. We really wanted to invest in upgrades because also we don't want to move in and then go, dang it, I wish we would have got bigger molding. We really want to make sure that we have all of the upgrades that we want when we move in. Now, I will also tell you that there are certain things that we are going to be doing after the fact either based on selection options or price, pretty much based on price. And that's things like light fixtures. We are going to purchase our own light fixtures and then have someone come in and put those in for us. Now, the builder will not put in light fixtures you buy elsewhere, like Home Depot or Lowe's. You have to have a yourself do it or someone come in after the fact and put those up. Another thing that we're doing, like I mentioned, is the toilet paper holder, towel hooks, things like that. They were so ridiculously expensive that we're just better off going and buying them ourselves and then having them put in. Our walk-in shower doesn't come with a large towel bar at all. It's not even an option. So of course that's something we'll do after the fact. And another thing that we decided was to delete all of the mirrors in the bathroom. So in the guest bath, the master bath, and the powder room, they're just those thick on mirrors and we don't want those. So you can actually delete things off of your build altogether. So we deleted all of the mirrors and we'll be putting our own mirrors in because we want nice framed mirrors that kind of go with the aesthetic of the rooms. And another thing is they don't offer bathroom light fixtures. So all of the lighting in the home that comes included is can lights and that those will be in the bathroom, but we actually want light fixtures. So again, that's another thing that will be done after the fact. I also want to paint my office the same color as in my current home. And when you pick paint for a new build, it's typically just one color of paint throughout. If I were to just ask for this room to be painted gray in my new home, it would be a $4,000 upgrade. So we're just going to have someone come in after the fact and paint for us. So it's just things like that, that we decided to do after. Oh, one other thing that we're doing after the fact is the epoxy flooring and the rack in the garage. Like we have similar in our house, the epoxy flooring through the builder was twice the price that we paid for this house. So even if prices have increased since we did our house here, it's not going to be anywhere near double the price the builder charges and they don't offer the racks hanging in the ceiling in the garage. So we're going to have that done after the fact. No landscaping is included. No fencing is included. That's another thing that you have to pay for in addition to your new build. Now I will tell you that some places like Stonehouse that we visited first, they actually landscape your front yard for you and you're responsible for the backyard. So it just depends on your builder. For us, we have to do the entire landscaping ourselves after the fact. So you're going to want to save some money for that because that has to be done out of pocket post moving in. Definitely learned a lot throughout this process so far. It's been really fun. Honestly, hasn't been super stressful yet. We did meet the project manager. He walked us through what what to expect from the build. And it sounds like our superintendent will be readily available to us the entire build. We're able to go and inspect things throughout the build. I know Troy wants to have an independent home inspector come once it's framed and the wiring is in before sheetrock goes up so that we can make sure it's done correctly. And then once sheetrock goes up and they have installed most of the countertops and those types of things, we want to come in and have that inspected. Now that is an expense to you. The home building company has their own inspection but everything we've read is get your own independent inspector to make sure everything is done right. Now, where we're moving is a luxury community, so I'm assuming the build is going to be done really well. We spoke with our neighbor and they said they had no issues at all. So we probably will hire our own independent home inspector once or twice throughout the process. Of course, I'll share that with you guys. And after speaking with the project manager, we kind of have a timeline on what we're looking like. So they're going to start pulling permits. We will be assigned to a superintendent. There are three superintendents, part of Quail Creek where we're moving, and we're going to be assigned to a gentleman named Jeff. We actually met him when we were walking through one of the being built homes of our floor plan. So he seemed like a super nice guy. So he should be reaching out to us around, no, around 
September 11th, that's when they'll start pulling plans, pulling permits, and that takes almost a month. So we won't actually break ground on our new house until the beginning of October, probably around October 8th. And then we have a completion date of late March. So it's a little bit longer than we originally thought. We were told five to six months. And for some reason, we were thinking five to six months from when we got out of design, but it's actually five to six months once they break ground, which is the beginning of October. October. So the next two months, we're just basically waiting for permits and things to be pulled and before they can actually break ground and put in the foundation. So it's a much longer process, more like eight months once you go through design and potentially up to a year by the time you find the land, purchase the lot, get set up for design, go through design. It can be a up to a year or longer process. Again, this all depends on your builder and how quickly they're putting up homes. And for us, we just want it done right. So if it takes longer, we're okay with that. We are starting to think about what types of furniture and things we want to bring from this house into that house. I think our plan is to pretty much have a fresh start and get rid of a lot of the furniture and things we have here just because we're completely changing the aesthetic of our home from what we have now to what we're shooting for, if you noticed in the finishes, is more of a modern farmhouse vibe. A lot of neutral colors, tans, whites, grays, beige. And then what we want to do is pop in some green in the form of like cacti and succulent types of pictures. Just a little bit, like I said, more modern farmhouse with a pop of that green. But yeah, we're really excited. It's it hasn't, like I said, hasn't been stressful so far, but I'm sure that the building part of it will be a little bit stressful. Also, unfortunately for us, well, and this all depends on how interest rates fall over the next few months. Typically interest rates go down in September. And because this is an election year, they're expecting them to go down again in November. But because our house won't be done until March, we won't probably list our current home until December, which is the worst month ever to list your home. So we've got to have a conversation with our realtor to see kind of what that looks like for us. We're thinking three months from our house being completed. And that's if it's done on time, which it sounds like it will be, but you never know. You never know what's going to happen. That puts a listing of December. So that's not ideal. Again, we'll just have to see as things progress. I will say that I'm grateful that we get to spend another set of holidays in this house. The new home that we're moving to, because it's in a 55 and over community, there's no kids on Halloween. And that's one of the things I love about where we live is giving candy out to the kids on Halloween. So I get to do that this year. We get to have Thanksgiving here and Christmas here. And then once Christmas is over, that's when we're really going to buckle down and get moving on things since we do have that early spring move-in date. So it's gonna be a really exciting next eight months. It's going to be a wild, wild ride. And of course, you guys are going to come with us every step of the way. So I hope you enjoyed this video, the first one in this little mini series of what to expect when building a new home. I'm going to share with you the good, the bad, the ugly. You're going to get it all. So if you enjoyed the video and you're excited for this new home process, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss any future home content. And again, I do upload five videos every week. Down in the description box, I'll have some links for you as well as new nutrition coaching and come join my Facebook group. It's another great way to keep up with me a little bit more day to day, free, supportive. We would love to have you again. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.